Welcome to this service. At entrance you should tell, Heavenly Father God, let your mercy be upon us. Give the dead peace and rest. Give the churches unity and give the world peace. Amen, Amen, Amen. Let us pray the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secret are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our heart by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer of Penitence God so loved the world that he gave his only son Jesus Christ to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolve to keep God's commandments, and to live in love and peace with all. Confession Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have sinned in what we have taught, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and married your images in us. We are sorry and ashamed and re repent of all our sins for the sake of your son jesus christ who died for us forgive us all that is past and lead us uh, out from darkness to walk in children of light amen gloria gloria in excelsis deu gloria gloria in excelsis deu glory to god in the highest and peace to his people on earth Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Gloria, Gloria. In excelsis Deu, Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deu, Amen. The Bible, Matthew 19, part 16 to 30. Jesus meets a rich man. One day a man came to Jesus. Teacher, he asked, What good things must I do so that I can live with God forever? Jesus replied, Why do you ask me about a good thing? Only God is good, nobody else. If you want to have re real life, then you must obey God's laws. The man asked Jesus, Which laws must I obey? Jesus replied, Do not kill anyone. Do not have sex with anyone who is not your wife. Do not rob anyone. Do not say things that are not true about people. Love your father and your mother and obey them. Love other people as much as you love yourself. I have always obeyed these laws. The young man replied, What else must, do, uh, must I do? Jesus said to him, if you want to be completely good, then you must do this. You must sell everything that you have, then give the money to poor people. If you do that, you will have money, many valuable things in heaven. Then come back and be, be uh, my disciple. When the young man heard this, he went away. He was not happy. He was feeling sad because he was a very rich man. Then Jesus said to his disciples, What I say is true. 
it is very difficult for rich people to let God uh, rule in their lives. The hole in the needle is very small. A big animal cannot go through it. But I, f I tell you, it is even more difficult than that uh, for a rich person to let God rule in their life. When the disciples heard this, they were even more surprised. They said, so perhaps God will not save anyone. Jesus looked at them and he replied, for people it really is impossible, but God can do it. God can do everything. Peter said to Jesus, look, we have left everything that we had, and now we are your disciples. What will we receive because we have done this? Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you this. One day God will cause all things to become, uh, to become now, new. I, the son of man, will sit on my great chair as king and I will rule uh, that new world. You who are my disciples will also sit like kings on rulers, rulers, chairs. You will judge the people of the families of Israel. Some people have left their home or they may have left their brothers or sisters or they may have left their mother or father or they may have left their wife or their children or their fields. They have done that because of me. God will give the, those people many more things than they have left behind, even hundred times more. And after they die, they will live forever with God. But many people who are very important now will become the least important. And many people who are not important now will become very important then. This is the word of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Epistle, Roman 10, part 5 to 21. God wants to save any, everyone. Moses wrote about how God, uh, God's law could help people to be right with God. He said, if a person obeys the rulers in God's law, then he will live by them. But the Bible speaks also about another way. It shows how to become right with God because you trust him. It says, do not say, say to yourself, someone will have to go up into heaven. That means someone will have to bring Christ down from up there. Do not say to yourself either, someone will have to go down into the world below. That means someone will have to bring Christ up from the place where dead people are. But the Bible says, God's message is near, is near you. You can talk about it and you can think about it. That is the same message that we are teaching to people. We tell people to believe in Jesus Christ. The message is this. You must say clearly that Jesus is the Lord. Also, you must believe deep inside yourself that God raised him into life again after his death. Then God will save you. God accepts people as right with him. Then they believe like that deep inside themselves. And when people say clear, clearly that Jesus is Lord, God saves them. 
It says in the Bible, everyone who believes in him will not be disappointed. It says everyone. There is no difference between Jewish and Gentiles. There is the same Lord for all of them. He helps everyone who asks him with many good things, but they refuse to obey me. As it says in the Bible, the Lord God will save everyone who asks him for help. But people will never ask Christ to help them if they have not believed in him. And they will never believe in him if they have not heard about him. And they will not hear about him unless somebody tells God's message to them. And nobody can go to tell God's message to people unless God sends them. This is written in Bible. When people arrive to tell us good news, we say welcome. But not every per person who hears the good news obey its uh, message. Isaiah said this, Lord God, it seems that nobody has believed your message. So then people must hear the message before they can trust God. And people hear that message when someone tells them about Christ. Let me ask you this. Did Israel's people hear the message? They certainly did. The Bible says, People have spoken God's message everywhere. People have, have heard his message in every part of the world. So I ask this too. When Israel people heard God's message, did they understand it? First, think about what Moses wrote. God said to Israel's people, I will make you jealous because of people who are not my people. I will make you angry because of people who know nothing about me. Also, this is what Isaiah said very bravely. God says, those people who were not looking for me have found me. I showed myself to people who were not even asking about me. But Isaiah says this about Israel's people. God says, for a very long time, I have been asking my people to return to me. This is the word of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Gospel, John 15, part 18 to 27. People will hate the disciples. The people who belong to this world may hate you. But remember this, they hated me before they hated you. If you belong to this world, this world's people would love you. They would love you because you would belong with them. But I chose you so that you would uh, be separate from this world, world's people. You do not belong with them, so they hate you. Remember. What I told you, no servant is more important than his master is. If they have caused trouble for me, they will also cause trouble for you. But if they have obeyed my message, they will also obey your message. They will do all these things to you because you belong to me. They will do them because they do not know the one who sent me. I have come 
and I have spoken my message to them. If I had not done that, they would uh, not have been guilty for their sin, but now they uh, cannot say, we have not done any wrong. Anyone who hates me also hates my father. When I was with, with them, I did many great things. Nobody else ever did things like that. If I had uh, not done those uh, great things among uh, them, they would have not. Uh, they would not have known what is wrong. But they have seen what I did. As a result, they have hated me, and they have hated my father too. Their book of God, uh, God's law say they hated me without without any good reason. What that uh, book already said a long, a long uh, uh, said long ago had to happen. When I return to my father, I will send the helper to you. The helper is God's spirit, who speaks only true things. He comes to you from the Father. I will send him to you, and he will speak true things about me. You also must speak to people about me, because you have been with me from the beginning. Glory be to you, O Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I will shout with all my strength, Lord, who is like you? When strong people try to hurt weak people, you are the one who keeps the weak people safe. You also keep poor people safe when robbers try to take things from them. Cruel people tell lies against me in court. I do not even know what they are t talking about. When I do good things to help them, they pay me back with evil things. That makes me feel very sad and upset. When they were ill, I wore rough clothes and I stopped eating food. I bent down my head as I prayed for them. I wept as I prayed as I would weep when a friend or my mother had died. But when I had troubles myself, they were happy. They stood round and they laughed at me. Even strangers attacked me and they would not stop. Useless people like that insulted me and they showed their teeth to frighten me. Lord, how long will you continue to watch as they do this to me? Keep me safe when they attack me. They attack me like hungry lions. Do not let them kill me. Then I will praise you in the great meeting of your people. I will thank you so that everyone hears me. My enemies tell lies about me. Do not let them win against me and be happy. They have no reason to hate me and do not let them laugh at me. They do not talk in a way that brings peace. Instead, they try to deceive people who want to live quietly. They open their mouths wide to keep against me. They say, aha. We have seen the bad things that you do. Lord, you have seen all this. Do not remain silent, Lord. Do not stay far away from me. Wake up. Let re Get ready to give me justice. Show that I am not guilty, my Lord and my God. Lord, you are righteous. Give me justice, my God. Do not let them laugh at me. Do not let them say, aha, this is what we wanted. Do not let them say, we have eaten him alive. 
for those who are happy when I have troubles, make them ashamed and f- confused. For those proud people who laugh at me, make them feel weak and ashamed. But for those who want justice for me, let them shout aloud in their pleasure. May them, may they always say, the Lord is great. He's happy when his servant is safe and well. Then I will tell everyone that you are righteous. I will praise you all through the day. Hallelujah. Amen. Preaching Praise prayers for God's power to flow through you. Father, thank you for always hearing my prayer. Thank you for your supernatural power in my life. You created the heavens and earth. Your power lives in me. Amen. I pray you use that that power in me today. I pray that you let your power flow through me, allowing me to succeed and fulfill your plans. Amen. Allowing me to confront and to live with my daily struggles, knowing I will have victory. Amen. Lead me with your Holy Spirit and release your power throughout my life. I want to bring glory and honor to your great name. Amen. I ask that your divine capabilities abide in me. Let me use your power to thwart the evil plans of the opposers. When I pray in your name, evil will flee. When I ask for healing in your name, there will be healing. When I lay my hands in faith, prayers and answer or answered. Amen. Greater is he who is in in the in me than if I am alone. Nothing can come against me. You your authority flows through me. When I speak your words in faith, every hindrance in my life will be moved. Your spirit and abundant power are at work in me. No force of evil, no weapon can break me. I will succeed. I will prosper. I praise you in advance and give you all glory for answering these prayers. Amen. Decreed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made a man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. This, uh, he, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. 
Prayers of Intercessions We pray for the whole world to solve their conflicts and live in peace and grace. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for all poor countries. Give them rain and let them use it usefully to make food. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for sick people. Please heal them and let them know your miracles and let them adore you. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. Amen. The Peace We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes us for peace and builds up our common life the peace of the lord be always be with you amen preparation of taking the bread and wine you must have a piece of bread and a glass of non-alcoholic wine wine or water blessed are you Lord God of all creation through your goodness we have this bread to set before you which earth has given and human hands have made it will become for us the bread of life blessed be with God blessed are you Lord God of all creation through your goodness we have this wine to set before you fruit of the wine and work of human hands it will become for us the cup of salvation blessed be God forever your Lord is the greatness the power the glory the splendor and the majesty for everything in heaven and on earth is yours all things come from you and of your own do we give you the Lord is here his spirit is with us lift up your hearts we lift them up to the Lord let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is right to give thanks and praise. Amen. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, for he is your living word through him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin giving him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross you raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand of high through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a, a people for your own possessions therefore we angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven we proclaim your great and glorious name forever praising you and singing holy 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 lord god of power and might 
heaven and earth are full of your glory Hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest accept our praises heavenly father through your son our salvation jesus christ and as we follow his example and obey his command grant that by the power of your holy spirit these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood who is in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take eat this is my body which is given for you do this in remembrance of me in the same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks he gave it to them saying drink this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me therefore heavenly father we remember this offering of him himself made once for all upon the cross we proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension we look for the coming of our kingdom and with this bread and this cup of a uh, cup we make the memorial of christ your son our lord amen christ is risen christ will come again Amen. Accept through him our great high Lord, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord through him and with him and in him in the unity of the holy spirit with all who stand before you in the earth and heaven we worship you father almighty in songs of everlasting praise blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever amen The Lord's Prayer Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and glory and are yours now and forever. Amen. If you are many, break the bread and share with each other. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world have mercy on us son of god you take away the sin of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sin of the world grant us peace amen giving of communion most merciful lord your love compels us to come in our hands were unclean 
our hearts were unprepared. We were not fit even to eat the, scrum, the crumbs from under your table. But you, Lord, are the God of our salvation and share your bread with sinners. So cleanse and feed us with the precious body and blood of your son that he may live in us and we in him and that we with the whole company of Christ may sit and eat in your kingdom. Amen. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. You can eat the bread and drink the wine or water. If it is water you are drinking, you can uh, ask Jesus to turn as wine in your body. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. It is the end of the service go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Jesus Amen at exit you should tell I give over my past to the mercy of God my presence for the love of God and my future of God's protection Amen